Hi folks, we're back. Last time it didn't work. Uh, bad internet connection in this uh, house we're staying at until we move into our new house. Gary Rosenton. Um, been with Leonard Skinner, the original member, uh, the last of the classic lineup. That says a lot, huh? Anyway, passed away. No cause of death has been given. He was 71 years old. And we were mentioning in our last stream when we were trying to get this going that that he was like he was the lead rhythm guitarist of the band, but just struck a lot of people. When I saw this, I went, wow, do people realize who the, what this means? I mean, it, it, it's a big thing. He wanted to be, and I remember, he wanted to be a baseball player. He's a very, very big baseball fan. And then, of course, you know, you always have these plans when you're growing up. And then rock and roll strikes and the trajectory of your life changes. And what a difference he made in this band. Uh, 1973, pronounced high melody. Leonard Skinner, big second helping in 74. Nothing fancy, 75. Give me bad my bullets. Give me back my bullets. It's very Leonard Skinner to them to say that in 76. One more from the road, 76. Street Survivors in 77, three days later, of course, was that ill-fated flight um, that shook up the band. Um, Ronnie Van Zant, Alan Collins, uh, Steve Gaines. It was uh, uh, and Steve Gaines' sister. Hello from uh, Lauderdale by, uh, by the sea. Oh, no, I'm dreading this day. Alex Knight. Hi, Alex. Thanks, sad news. The first live broadcast we've had in a little while, but I really wanted to get on there and, and to talk about it. He was with the lineup, 64 to 77, uh, then 87, then and joined back again in 1991. All the original members, yeah, Mike, they're all gone. You know, when you look at something like that with Gary Rosington, it, it is sadly the end of a, of a major era of a band. You know, I... I, I I always knew people who got off the bandwagon for a band for political reasons, which was never a reason I didn't liked or didn't like a band. If I liked a band, I liked them. You know what I mean? Uh, and I've always, I've always, I never loved Leonard Skinner, but I liked them. And all my friends, we'd party Leonard Skinner and Gary Rosenton playing lead and rhythm guitar was a big pile of that. Pile, um, hi, Gary was good in concert. Saw them in 1981 from John... Uh, thanks, John. Appreciate that. Sunday night, too. Not a lot of people, because it's Sunday night, are reporting on this. But I remember one of my friends growing up had pronounced Leonard Skinner. Uh, Timothy says, damn, absolute favorite. Like, uh, Bob Burns is the official original drummer from Michael. Gary was a great guitar player, but more so a very down-to-earth man. This is from John. Thanks, John. Appreciate you chiming in. Thanks for all your comments. Whenever a guitar, um, a, gr a guitarist from a great band, from a legendary band, Alan was also very talented. Yeah, hey Pookie, nice to have you on here. But yeah, Rosington Collins Band. I remember being in a record store and hearing them play. Uh, they were supposed to play at Strawberry Festival in Lake Linda next week. Well, Brian Johnson, thank you, Brian. Yeah, nothing stops death, right? Didn't say original, please carry on. Wow, another great gone. Yeah, wow. A lot of people are, I think death is always a shock, no matter how old someone is. And it's 71 and we all know, Nuts never pretend this, and they wouldn't either, that they were hard living rock and rollers, you know, living to the limit when they could doing it the rock and roll way, when in Rome, whatever mother statement you want to get. James says, hey, James Bashir, thank you for helping me find a smile. Uh, rest in peace, Gary. Yeah, we're, we're uh, uh, the reason we're not in our studio and uh, is because we've been in transit, by the way. Leonard Skinner, family suffering. Oh, yeah. A lot of, uh, Pookie, a lot of suffering in that band when, you know, the fact that Street Survivors came out, and I remember in 77, and because they were all s surrounded by uh, Rise to College Band, Trucker Kev was a good, oh, sorry, I, I'm on my my uh, iPhone, so the co the comments are coming really, really quickly, and I don't even have, like, uh, um, Maddie K USA, yours is too long, I can't, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm on my 
my phone and it's coming in. Anyway, for anyone who's just joining, uh, cause of death had not been released. He he did have a heart attack um, recently. He was 71 years old. He lived the life of a rock star. When you look at all the albums, and I'll reiterate this, Pronounce Leonard Skinner, the debut. Uh, I'm moving again, yeah, Pookie. 73, Second Helping, 74, Nothing Fancy, 75. Give me back my, give me back my bullets. Uh, as I said a while ago, that is so Leonard Skinner to them to have an album called that in 76. Uh, one more from the road, same year, Street Survivors, uh, 77, and three days later, the, the plane crash. There goes another great one. Banu says, yeah, it, uh, no good or bad time, right? You know, people always say, oh, I was talking to him yesterday. Yeah, everyone was, everyone was alive the day before they died. But it's, it's a sort of a sad thing. When I was talking to, um, which one of the interviews recently, someone was telling me uh, that they, they were drinking with with uh, some of the Leonard Skinner guys. They never paid their uh, bar tab. They just they they drank. They did well. They were rockers, and they never they never really paid the tab. They just would do it and then leave. <laughs> Randy Collins, God rest the soul of Gary Rosden. The free bird is heading home. Condolences to the Rosden family and to Leonard Skinner band. Yeah, I didn't get the last part of that, but I think that's what you said. So. Yeah, tip a little hat, you know, tip our hat, raise a glass tonight in the typical, uh, uh, I was going to say Rosington, Rosington Collins, yes, but Leonard Skinner um, uh, fashion that it, it'd be appropriate to do that. Okay, guys, I don't have anything else on here, but it's strange, you know, it's another reminder of the uh, preacher's daughter, one of those great deep cuts. Yeah, Ed King. Oh, yeah, a, a strawberry alarm. Ed King was the main guy that, who was it? Mike McCarty. Who was it? I forget which one of the interviews I just did. He just said that that Ed King would come in more than any other Skinner member, and Ed's dead too, that would come in and drink and then not pay the bill. <laughs> when in Rome, when they were partying on, eh? That's the thing. But... The the Leonard Skinner band always had that kind of reputation, right? Of, you know, uh, um, devil may care, they don't suffer fools, hard partying band, playing good old fa fashion, the ultimate Southern band, playing good old fashion, uh, Canadi uh, Canadian, yeah, I'm Canadian, uh, American Southern music, you know, inspired so many other bands to do it. And it had a long list of, of, there's a band that had a long list of album tracks that people really loved. More than, some, in some cases, they were just as well known for, al for songs that were not hits. Which really says an awful lot. And, and again, I'd be remiss if I didn't say this. In, in the fold, he was in it from 60, uh, Gary Rossington from 64 to 77, 87. Then from 91 onward. Uh, oh, yeah, I think Molly Hatchet were great, too. I'm flirting with disaster, y'all. Um, but pronounced Leonard Skinner came out in 73. The, the, the sophomore, second helping, 74, hence the name. Nothing fancy, 75. Give me back my bullets, 76. One more for the road, same year. Street Survivors in 77. And then um, they had the... Uh, I enjoyed the Rosington Collins band quite a bit. Like, they were... They were a band that I, uh, that, that duo, that, that it's, and it sounded like Leonard Skinner. Uh, John, loving the new background. Yeah, the background is basically, this is not our house, this is the in-laws house. So, oh, treasure your idols. Many are senior citizens. You never know anymore. Well said, Trucker Kev. Well, well said. Thank you. Anyway, guys, uh, not here for a long time with this one. We're going to be in our studio on the 12th. Just, uh, I don't want to make this about me, but we're going to be in our new studio by then. The rock and roll a, a wall will be with us. Our green screen will be back. Uh, we'll have uh, 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 some now and then live bands coming in and, and playing with us. Uh, so there you go. Take good care, guys. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Gary Rosington, dead at 71. Rest in peace. He lived a full life.
Take care.